Scientists studying sharks off the coast of New Zealand have photographed one species that glows in the dark. The deep sea creatures are the largest known luminous vertebrates and the discovery puts the spotlight on one of the least explored ecosystems in the world. Well, let's find out more. Joining us now is Dr. Jerome Malafet, lead researcher at the Marine Biology Laboratory at the Louvain Catholic University, speaking to us from Belgium. Thank you very much. And congratulations on this finding as well. Tell us, what was it like when you discovered this species of shark that, that glows? Well, it was just a dream for me because uh, we know that, uh, oh, maybe not the people who knows, but out of 540 species of sharks, 57 are able to produce light, but these elusive sharks are living below 200 meters, so very difficult to observe and to get in good condition. And this one is the biggest one. It can measure 1.8 meter, which is bigger than me, in fact, and he's brighter than me because he's able to produce light. I'm not. How did you get down there to photograph them? Did the researchers have to go down or did the fish have to come up? No, the fish has to come up. In fact, uh, it's, it's really difficult to get them in, in really good physiological condition for us. Uh, so I did the pictures in a dark room on board of a ship. Uh, we get the, the shark thanks to bycatch uh, of, of tro a trolling uh, expedition, estimating the hockey, which is a, a, a fisheries, uh, a, a fish very important in, in New Zealand. But they, they catch also all sorts of sharks during the, that campaign, and usually they are thrown back in the water, but for nothing. So we decided, oh, can we join and can we start a study on that? Because it, it, they are totally unknown for the moment, and that's how we succeed to get them. And seeing them glowing in the dark, I, I must tell you, I was just like crazy when I come out of my dark room. And I said, yes, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. And, and people then try to come in, in the lab because you can see it if you are dark adapted. Yeah, it, I mean, it's amazing. And they're, they're really, really deep in the water, you know, 200 meters deep. So there's no natural sunlight down there. What are the uh, theories uh, then as to why it would glow? Yes. Well, first one, one remark. It, below 200 meters, you still have a faint blue deep light. So it's not pitch black there. You have to go down to 1,000 meters to be in the complete darkness of the vast ocean. So there are still a little bit, it's the twilight zone. So you have a little bit of blue light. And if you swim, but if you have below you a predator, a bigger animal coming, he can see your shadow against the bluish light on top of you. But if you produce blue light, the same color and the same intensity of where you are, you disappear and they cannot catch you. So these small sharks, because they are small, most of them are measuring 50 centimeters. These small sharks are eaten by bigger fishes, so that they are not the, the, the creature we all fear in, in the surface. They are tiny, little, beautiful sharks. So, yeah, I'd be surprised to think that there would be another animal that would try and eat it. Do you think this helps a little bit with the sort of the PR of the sharks? We think of them as sort of really frightening and really scary and dangerous. Has this species helped out its image? Yeah, well, hopefully the people will realise that, OK, they are predators, but they have their, their space in, in our environment and in the ocean. They can regulate some population. But these luminous ones are really small and, and uh, you know, this is the biggest one, and it, it's, it, as I said, it can measure 1.8 meter, so it's a really big one. And, and, and uh, seeing them glowing, I had one of 1.4 meter during this expedition, and it's, it's just magnificent. So, yeah, they can produce light just for, to, to survive also, or to, to eat, because they glow on, on the, from the belly side, as you can see. They have a big eyes, so they can really spot any faint light. And they can use it as also as a flashlight to see what is on the bottom and then to get the, their food also.